I'm Peter Oppen with Renewable Now here at the Beta Spring opening with Owen Johnson. Owen Johnson, one of the uh, owners and founders. Owen, terrific job, great night. What is the mix of people here and what what happens on a night like this where you have a, an open house with 300 people? Well, a lot of magic happens. So uh, we we have a mix of people, like you said. It's uh, composed, uh, the group is composed of politicians, of investors, of entrepreneurs, of normal people, right, whatever that means, right? Like, that would be me. Yeah, 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 yeah. All kinds of people. I mean, lawyers, accountants, um, you know, folks that have just heard of us in the newspaper. I mean, we have a pretty broad reach. Um, and, you know, our goal with creating that kind of mix is to really create the improbable connections that are really valuable for our entrepreneurs, right, it's in our community. Excellent. And it was very interesting to see the, the, the kids, where they were from. Do you have graduates here? Uh, yes, we do have alumni of the program here. Uh, a lot of alumni from our spring class, because a lot of them are located upstairs on the fourth floor of this building. And are they very influential with the current class? I mean, how does that work? How do you accelerate but take advantage of some of the intellect and the companies that you've helped create? Um, so, I mean, beyond the fact that we're investors in the companies, right, um, what we try and do is kind of accrete companies that flow through the program. So we're interested in bringing many companies through and, you know, getting as many of them as possible to stay close by so they can become part of a larger community. And, and uh, right now, uh, the alumni from the spring class and some of the other alumni from other classes, uh, they, they're located very close by. And so we actually have alumni that, are, that have access to this space. They come down, they get a beer, they get a coffee, you know, they have a snack in the alumni lounge. And, and while they're doing that, they play a game of ping pong with one of the existing companies. They talk about user acquisition strategies or financial models or potential investors. And it's really, really a two-way interaction that's very valuable for both the alumni and the existing uh, cohort. So very important to Beta Spring, to the city, and in the retention, and to the... We just saw some recommended changes at EDC. Beta Spring is certainly a success story here in in Rhode Island. Do those changes impact you? Do you like those changes? Are there is there a model here that can help the state long term? So, I do believe that there is a that you know one of the things that we do here at Beta Spring that we're trying to do is help the state and help the community um, by creating you know high growth startup companies that can employ many many people, right? And um, you know in terms of the the change at the EDC uh, at the moment, it doesn't appear like there will be any uh, major impact on what we're doing. Um, you know, and uh, that we'll continue to be able to do what we do. Um, you know, even with those changes. Last question, the, your company, is it um, helping to find um, sustainable companies, changes in, in how business is done? Is it orientated at all kind of to that green economy, green jobs, and those changes? Yeah, um, absolutely. I think not, not directly in terms of the high tech, kind of solar or wind power or anything else, but certainly, um, kind of, uh, kind of an indirectly, there are companies here. Uh, New Label Technologies, who I know you've covered on your show before as a Beta Spring grad, they are a direct impact on billions of labels and billions of pounds of silicon that don't have to be wasted on those labels. Um, certainly, we have companies that are focused on efficiency of business and efficiency of service delivery. I think that has an impact in, in a sustainable way. Is that part of your criteria at all? Um, it is something we take into account. I would say so. I think that you know, uh, new one of the ways that new businesses can disrupt old businesses is by creating business models that are more sustainable. Yeah. And 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 so when we see it, when we see something like that, it is a positive for sure. Excellent job. Awesome night. Thank you so much. Thanks.